Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be looking at the latest stacking feature that came with the Hilda's Request update. This allows you to put items automatically into a chest by holding E or the corresponding button on Xbox. In this video, I'll show you how it works because you need to set your chests up properly, otherwise you won't really use it. First, let's see what I'm talking about in action. So here's our inventory. We've got a wide variety of different stuff. I'm gonna focus on these feathers, right? I wanna put the feathers away. So, over in this monster drops chest, we can see that there are already some feathers here. And if we look at the chest, see how it says open, hold to stack? This is the feature that was added. We can hold E, and then the chest is opened, and then any items in your inventory that match something already in the chest will get added to the chest. But that's it. So you see how all that happened is the feathers were removed from my inventory and put in the chest. Now I'll do this again so you really get a hang of it. It, it took me a moment to really get what's going on. This is a chest full of eyes and resin. So when we hold down E, the chest opens, and then the eyes and resin get put into the chest. So any item that you have in your inventory that matches something in the chest will get added to the chest. But when you have an organized system, you can imagine, all right, I want to clear out my inventory. And because I have this system with most of the items already there, I can just go to each chest and hold down E, and then it'll take anything automatically out of my inventory and put it into the right place. So after taking all of this stuff, right, we see that I only have the clothes I was wearing and food items, and that's because there isn't a spot for food items here because the food stuff is all stored over here. So now I do the same thing. And so you can see how using this feature can help you unload your inventory quickly, but you do need to learn about it and get in the habit of using it, and it's most useful with chests that already have the items in them. If you want, you can use this sort of 11 part system. If you have nine sections for all of this stuff, you'll be able to store most of your things. The exception, as you saw earlier, is you need a place for your food, which would make sense to be in a kitchen, and then also a place for seeds and fishing stuff. And that's it for this video, everybody. It was a short one today. I hope that you enjoy it, and if there's anything you'd like explained or to learn more about, then comment below and I'll make a tutorial just for you. Also, consider checking out my tutorial all about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server. Hilda's request just launched, so it's a great time to get a dedicated Valheim server for a couple months to play with your friends. It's a great experience because this way, people can log on to the server and play and do their own thing while you're out doing other stuff. So you can actually have like one or two separate player groups playing on the same server in different areas. And this is when Valheim really shines and you get to have all sorts of different interactions and sometimes people need to be saved or they need help to go get their body and all this stuff. So I really encourage you to get a dedicated server. It also helps me out because I get half of what you pay to zap. Well, like 40%. So it's a really good relationship. They communicate with me and have treated me really well. So I'm happy to be affiliated with them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.